Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. It's Sharon here from Mind Healing Harmony. So lovely to have you join me today. I was talking about and sitting here at the park and it's quite amazing here. It's very, very peaceful. And uh, the dogs here lying in the shade, loving this beautiful weather that we are having. I was just sitting here and I was thinking to myself and, and, and it came to me about talking about ourselves and what our expectations are from life and what it truly means. Does the amount of money that we have in our bank account or the house that we own or the car that we drive really drive us to striving for our life? And have we been driven by this to such a state that we now live in a society of debt and we usually associate debt with pain and a fear. It's quite sad really when you think about it because nobody, absolutely nobody should be feeling this way because in our day-to-day -day lives, what really makes us who we are? What really makes people accept us for who we are? Have we become too judgmental? I remember when I used to be very judgmental of people at times, by the way they looked, and thinking, wow, look how successful they are. They've got a Porsche, they've got a massive house, you know, they've got the best of everything. But sometimes, that's a false picture because sometimes behind that is massive stress, massive debt and maybe abuse either in the physical or a verbal nature. Maybe they're not happy. Maybe there's not much love in the house. So what really makes us who we are? Do you love yourself? Would you still love yourself if you had nothing and you lived in a tent? Would you still love yourself if you had everything that you needed? And when is enough enough? What do we truly, truly need to survive in this day and age? Well, it's sort of been created so that we can't really survive just on food, right? What's the currency? Hmm, I think that could be changing. Crypto's on the grow, you know quite interesting and I've done a bit of research into crypto and I know about crypto. If you wanted to control the world, you control the money. If you wanted to control the people, then you make them fearful of not having money or not having. Fear of missing out. Am I right? Am I wrong? It really doesn't matter. The fact is, do you love people for who they are and what they are and within yourself do you know truly who you are what you are why you are here hmm interesting concept but something to truly think about because I think when we really love ourselves and we're following our heart, as I was talking about, do you think with your mind or your heart yesterday? And reading more of Silent Smile by Miriam and, and really trying to comprehend what's being said, it all comes down to love. Because when you are truly loving yourself, it doesn't really matter because everything is abundant with the love that you have in your life, the love that you bring to the world and the love of your creation to this world. Hmm, something to think about. I'm really on this amazing journey. I really do spend a lot of time by myself and I'm starting to, through something that Miriam said to me, she said, you know, be patient, Sharon. You need to be more patient to find out who you truly are. Because most of us really have lost who we are. Who are we? I don't know. Either cashier chick, 
down at the local supermarket or you're that salesperson or are you truly you know that accountant I mean really is that really who we are or are we people full of compassion and love and love to be with one another and share our ideals and share the things that we learn about ourselves on a daily basis hmm and I do say hmm because when you look at your true self it's pretty damn scary <laughs> when you look away from the materialism and see what else is there and I think when you're looking at yourself and, and I have been guilty of this and still at this point I'm still going through so much myself you know I've always felt like I had to prove myself to people and to stop and to look at yourself and say why did I do that? Why do I feel that way? It really comes down to a societal thing and our programming, which is from school. You know, why do you go to school? You go to school so you can learn something, so you can become an academic, so you can learn something, so you can teach something, so you can be something, so you can be successful. You know, because in society, if you have nice things, if you have a nice house, a nice car, etc., then you've proven yourself to society that you have done well. And it is something that was inbuilt to me also, um, non-meaningfully, by my parents, you know, because my parents um, did well in life. So then for, without them knowing, and it's, it has nothing to do with them, but everything to do with me and my perception, was that I felt I had all this proving of self to do. But at the same time, I knew that the way the world is now, and has been for many years, there was something fundamentally wrong with this system. You know, what is this? world that we're living in you know why are there all these rules you know why do we have to pay so much tax you know why do we have to feel this pressure to do all these things and be a good citizen and that's used in a not so great way which has to do with our pain and fear hmm so that's a whole nother ball game that one because gaslighting and information out there and how we are programmed through the system is to be a certain way. So they become what they want you to become, which is part of their corporation. Quite interesting. <laughs> My favorite word, I tell you. Life is pretty interesting right now. We are moving on. We are moving on and up people, but the work needs to be done. We need to heal ourselves. We need to heal ancestral trauma. Yes, we have been here many times, not this physical body, but our higher self, our spiritual selves. It's worth thinking about whether you are really being your true self or whether you're acting out in your own movie. <laughs> this is our movie, you know. We get to create it, but along the way, there's other people that have had influence. So have a think about that. And if you like my video today, please do click like and subscribe because I'd love to speak to you again and just ding on that bell because then you can get notifications. Thank you so much and I will be putting some more information and doing a little talk on Silent Smile, the book that I'm reading. It's by a beautiful author, author Miriam. It's going to definitely take the world by storm. It's really what we need right now. So if you would like to have a look, I will put the link to Silent Smile underneath this video also today. And you take care of yourself. Have a fantastic day and may the light in me always shine in the light in you. Bye everyone. Take care.